CES 2026 has been overrun with AI-enabled critters, creatures, and companions, and they're not all for kids. There's a clear split in approaches when it comes to fitting AI into a physical device with a friendly face. Some, like the Luna Deskmate or Luca AI Cube, include complete LLM chatbots, usually powered by either ChatGPT or Google Gemini. Deskmate is designed to be a cute version of an agentic AI assistant with Disney-fied eyes and expressions as it organizes your email inbox. While the AI Cube is explicitly for kids, letting them chat with chibi versions of figures like Elon Musk and Hayao Miyazaki. It's clever tech, but Nia's parents put an awful lot of faith in the protective guardrails set up by the company. If you don't want an entire LLM packed into a toy, your other option is a companion that does almost nothing. I've seen too many of these to count this week, from the Rovar X3, which can navigate outdoor terrain, to the fluffy, static desk cyclops Inu. They have one job, and it's look cute, which some of them do with mixed success, though I defy you to say that Ecovac's AI puppy Lil Milo isn't downright adorable. Most use AI to recognize their owners, detect facial expressions, and respond with the appropriate emoji eyes and cutesy sounds depending on which emotion they detect. A few are marketed at kids, but more manufacturers than I expected are pitching these at lonely adults in need of companionship. So AI toys are on the way en masse, but no one seems to agree if they should be able to do far too much or nothing at all.